Hello. Welcome to the 9th of April. It's the day that Prince Philip has passed away. So regards to Prince Philip and his family. Whether we love the royals or hate them, you know, he is a significant sort of figurehead in our country. So offer, offer our respects to that. Okay, so what's been happening to Mental Health Motorbike this week? Got a lot of things. I've written eight things down this week, so I'm going to rattle through them. The first one is that we've had a tremendous offer of support, uh, support from a big, big uh, injury sort of uh, solicitors that deal with uh, legal injuries and motorbike injuries. And they've come on board asking us whether they can help us. So a few more sort of negotiations and discussions with them, but hopefully we'll have some news about another sponsorship deal, which is really good news. I've been feeling bloody awful this week. My breathing's gone to sh to pot again. You know, it's this long COVID. I just can't do anything quickly. So as soon as you're exercising, you're out of breath and it's just really quite painful. I've got a hospital appointment on Monday and then some more tests the following week. So it's meant that the charity people, we've got Andy, Kent, Alex and Mark, they've been working on, on our behalf on the charity application. So it's really, really nice. That's been sort of progressing, so I'll catch up with them. I think we're probably about 90% near application, sort of uh, putting the application in. So we are pending charity. We've also, on the 18th of April, scheduled the launch of the Anatic Mental Health Motorbike film. So that will be done through a premiere uh, sort of system on YouTube and then we'll go to Twitter and various other social media and sort of start sort of promoting it afterwards. So we're going to sort of try and generate a bit of a buzz around that. So 18th of April, let's, let's see if we can make that, you know, sort of a film that's well received. It is a great film and it's targeting that, that vulnerable age group, male age group. Uh, it's, so it is very male sort of focus, but it's done deliberately. The second film that we do will be more aimed at our female riders. Uh, so, so watch out for that on the 18th of April. Uh, so if, if you listen to this message, make sure you sort of reshare. I've also today, well, it started yesterday evening actually, we uh, had the offer of one of our members uh, developing the resources section of the website into a, a, a mobile app. So she's put this offer together that she will help us develop the resources. And the more I thought about it, the more I think this could be really powerful. So what I'm thinking is this becomes a very active role and a, a meaningful role for our ambassadors. So what we aim to do is get our ambassadors to find in their locality 10 mental health resources or organisations. And what they can do is share that onto the app and then a moderator team or a, a working team can actually check out that this organisation is still running and the information is correct. And then we can add it straight into the app. And when you look at the moderator pins, we've now got about 70 plus moderators. I'm saying moderators, they're actually ambassadors, 70 plus ambassadors on the map. And the idea is, you know, that would be a fabulous amount of resources local for, for our members. So watch this space. We are going to be sort of do, taking this conversation further with this this person, and hopefully we might have a an app that's going to be really really helpful. We've also had a, a request to be involved with the hearing and plug it sort of campaign. So this is an organisation that looks at you know motorbikers and the need for people to be wearing earplugs. So that's something I will pick up next week. Uh, but it's great to be requested that we, we help these organisations. So more on that sort of plug it sort of campaign. I spoke to the dot bike people and they're really interested in it as well. Because they're all about sort of uh, keeping people safe. And obviously if you, you're hearing sorts going, that could lead on to mental health issues. Next week, we've got a meeting with Leia, Talk Club and Luke Brackenbury, who are from Bennett's. And we're going to look at the British Superbike season. What do we need to get in place to make that happen? So that's starting to kick off again. And we want to be in the thick of it. So a good strategic meeting next week. 
Also had a really interesting meeting yesterday with the uh, Derbyshire Dales uh, Council for Voluntary Service. So they came on to me and said, would you come and talk about your work? So it, the meeting lasted for about two hours. Very interesting meeting because it's really opening my eyes to all the different resources out there. And we had about 20 minutes of that meeting presenting mental health motorbike. And it was great. There was one guy on there. He says the only reason he joined the meeting because he's a biker and he'd seen that we were not so going to be on there. So it was really nice. He sent me a lovely email afterwards. So he's connected in with various bike groups. So he wants to talk to me about that separately. But this was the first presentation that we've done to a wider audience that's looking at mental health and support services. And they were really interested in what we're doing fantastic response afterwards so that this, these small meetings can can have you know sort of create a really good localized network so i thought if we can get uh, derbyshire really sewn up so we know the ins and outs of how the mental health services are working in derbyshire that will then allow me to be able to share with other people ambassadors in other areas what might be out there for them because a lot of the organizations in derbyshire are part of national sort of organizations so a good meeting there with the cvs uh, derbyshire dales really really nice thank you to jonathan for setting that up and then finally we've been uh, so we've got a meeting next week with shiny side up so this is a, a road safety campaign based in derbyshire they've heard about what we're doing and mark jj set this up and we're going to meet with their team on Tuesday at 2 p.m. So that'll be a, an interesting bit of feedback for you next week. So lots, lots happening, guys. You know, it's, it's it's really nice to be busy, but I'm not feeling 100. percent So it's, it makes it quite difficult at the moment. But we'll we'll get there with it. We've got amazing team support as always this week. Lots going on behind the scenes with the support bubbles, and yeah, it just feels feels good lots going on so have a lovely weekend everybody weather's a little bit cooler today i think we have actually got a bit of blue sky peeking out but the birds are nesting so it's really nice to have my walk today so i'm just going to go and enjoy that all right so see you soon thanks for checking in bye